Paul would spend the rest of his time at Detroit trying to secure the safe passage of desperately needed supplies from Ohio. With the support of the British, Tecumseh and his allies are able to thwart every American attempt to resupply Detroit using Hull's Road. Hull has more success securing supplies in Upper Canada. Shortly after their arrival in Sandwich, Hull sends foraging parties into Upper Canadian territory to look for supplies. One party ends up at the Scottish settlement of Baldoon, where they're able to secure 900 merino sheep that they quickly bring back to Detroit. Hull's army is made up primarily of men from the Ohio militia, and his commanding officers are two eager Ohio colonels, Lewis Cass and Duncan MacArthur. On July 14th, Hull sends MacArthur into Upper Canada to pursue a band of native warriors up the Thames River. When he is unable to overtake them, MacArthur receives orders to proceed to the Thames settlements to secure provisions. MacArthur is a classic American character of the frontier. He's not a well-educated man, but he is a very forceful personality. He is a very ambitious man, and he is going to be very restive under the control of William Hull. As a youth, MacArthur acted as a scout during the American Revolution in the campaign against the natives. An English traveler describes MacArthur on a trip through Ohio. The general looks dirty and butchery-like and very unlike a soldier in appearance, seeming half savage and dressed like a backwoodsman. The Moravian Delaware at Fairfield hear of MacArthur's advance and fear the worst. July 16th. We had a lot of anxiety. It was said that the Americans were coming to destroy our village today. The Indians brought us their personal belongings for safekeeping and fled into the bush. They built makeshift huts, only to be driven out by the insects, which were dreadful beyond measure this year. When the news got more frightening, they collected their belongings and hid them in the bush. Meanwhile, we learned that we had nothing to fear this time, as the troops only came as far as McGregor's Mill, where they took several boatloads of flour and other provisions. <laughs> 